Do you want to walk on Mitcham Common, but don't know where to start? Well, there are leaflets available that suggest four introductory walks. These can be obtained from the Ecology Centre or downloaded as a PDF. The links can be found in the video description. Walk number one is just over a mile long or 1.8 kilometres and could take around 25 minutes. The paths are flat unsurfaced and they may be muddy in winter. Start at the Ecology Centre car park and cross the road opposite the car park entrance. On entering the common, you will see an information panel on your left. This has a map showing you where you are. In front of you is a black, concrete, circular litter bin. Please take your litter home with you, but feel free to put any litter in this bin if you wish. It gets emptied regularly. Now turn right and follow the path that runs parallel with Windmill Road. Originally a domestic rubbish dump, Mill Hill was sealed with clay in the 1960s. Its banks have been planted with a variety of trees to enhance the landscape. The skylark, whose numbers are in national decline, can be heard singing in the spring and summer. Acid grassland is the rarest habitat type on Mitcham Common. Gravel underneath the thin surface soil makes water and nutrients scarce. In such conditions, low-growing grasses and plants, such as sheep sorrel, harebells and heath bed straw, thrive. Once grazing by animals on the common had stopped, trees and shrubs invaded to the detriment of the valuable grassland. The start of a winter programme of scrub management has helped restore much of the grassland to its former condition. Once a Victorian gravel pit, Seven Islands Pond was allowed to gradually fill with water. It is now one of the most visited places on the common, home to a variety of plants and animals, including swans, coots, Canada geese, and a large population of frogs and toads. The rare bog bean plant thrives in the middle of the pond. Tucked away behind the scrub is a memorial dedicated to George Parker Bidder, QC. In the 19th century, uncontrolled grazing and gravel digging incensed local people who felt that the common was being destroyed. Bidder organised a sustained protest which led to parliamentary legislation to protect the common under the administration of the Mitcham Common Conservators. The last part of this walk takes you parallel to the Croydon Road. This sheltered path is a good place to find butterflies in the summer, such as speckled wood, small white comma, peacock and small tortoiseshell.